From our balcony, I watched the finale of a spectacular sunrise taking pause, allowing me yet another chance to ponder the contradictions of life in the tropics, living in Typhoon Alley, and on the Ring of Fire. It's been just over three weeks since Typhoon Mawar wreaked havoc on our island. The long road to recovery is still underway, and I would be remiss not to do this video, at least for the purposes of posterity. There have been a lot of questions, not just from our viewers, but from thousands of concerned folks from around the globe. Many just want to send their well wishes, and others are much more concerned about family, loved ones, and friends who might live here. Curiosity drives others to seek out even more detailed information about the aftermath. The blog article I posted just after the storm details our struggles during and after, and while my previous Mawar video summarizes a somewhat collective first-hand experience, it depicts very little of the real devastation left behind. While it's easy to thankfully say that everyone is safe and that no lives were lost during the storm, it's difficult to articulate exactly how hard the island is suffering on a whole. I apologize if in any way I led anyone to believe that everyone suffered the same fate as we did. Some may have gotten off easy, but many others are still struggling with no power, no fresh water, and some 500 people are still living in shelters. Recently, we took another walk to Old Wives Beach on the Navy base and witnessed a big change. Old Tom Hanks' cabin is gone. This beach has been cleared off by Typhoon Mawar. just doesn't look the same. Then we followed up with a walk along the entire stretch of Tumon Bay. What we found there was unreal. Okay, we have actually walked this morning from the Hilton, which is way over there. We have walked this entire beach to this point right here. 2.48 miles. Now we gotta go back. Yes, we live on Gua. This river wasn't here before. Man. What do you think? Looks pretty bad, doesn't it? No one's working the problem. Not a, not a soul. It's been what, over three weeks? And nobody's, they've picked up a few branches in the park. But they apparently don't want people to come to the beach. No, not for at all. For some reason. Let's go investigate some more damage, shall we? Shall we? We shall. Yeah, before the storm, these uh, trash receptacles, those were on the edge of the jungle. I mean, they were in the shade. Uh, the beach just grew. Just got bigger. I wonder how long this is gonna take for them to finally get it all cleaned up. My fear is it'll all get returned to normal. It will get punched by another storm. Oh no, no. Don't jinx it. Yeah, then I'm gonna move. Maybe back to the Philippines.
One up this time. What the heck? Now where are we going to have our beach gatherings at? Well, let's go find out. Halfway to the turnaround point, and we're discovering new, new areas, new devastation, new erosions. Mostly devastation. watch you suffer first <laughs> yeah I told you you're gonna have to crawl I think I'll take the stairs This place uh, here will come back. It used to be all shade. This whole beach was in the shade. It's going to take some time for the tropic shade to return here. Green coming out. Yeah, there's some green coming out. All these leaves here are new. That's three weeks. Well, it looks like we can't go any farther, AJ. Yep. Somebody put a fence there. Somebody's been using this beach as a, uh, a camp out place after the storm to uh, obviously this tarp wasn't here, I guarantee you, before the storm. But they built this place afterwards. And they just leave all their shit here. I hope they got kicked out. I said, there's that fence again. What shall we do? Let's jump the fence, shall we? Well, we're gonna have to just jump the fence. Yeah, outstanding job. <laughs> <laughs> of 
Guam is no stranger to resiliency and recovery. This latest battle is akin to yet another round completed in the historical title fight this island has with Mother Nature. Guam might have been beaten up pretty badly this round, and short of a knockout, Guam is still standing. Maybe we should just call this one a draw. Guess we found Wilson from from the movie. Drifted all the way to Guam. Amazing. Probably landed from the typhoon. You want to keep him? Hey, it's a souvenir.